Alrighty, how to do pig's feet in the crock pot. I put a little bit of spray in there. Should have did it while I was on film, but I didn't. And then I put a, just a little layer of apple cider vinegar across the bottom, just to make it touch from one end to the other. Not too much. Alrighty, that's all we got so far. Then we'll just put the pig's feet right on in. There they is. Six of them should be good. There's a brand new crock pot I just got uh, from a good friend of mine. He's actually my band member, Mike DiGrucci. And this is the first thing I'm cooking in there. And I wanted to do it on a day off. Damn, these are nice. They're fitting really nice in there, too. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now I'm going to stand two up. That way I can fit two more in. I'm doing six of them. They're pretty good sized pig's feet. So six of them. It's like it's a, it's a pig and a half worth of pig's feet. Alright, this guy will go right there. Stand that little fella up. And here comes the last guy right there. Yeah. And just let him be. Just kind of just let him be. Alright, now I'm adding some water. I'm going to pause it and hold it. Alright, I'm uh, hold it. Then a little bit of this. Garlic pepper seasoning. I just put it like this. From one end, that's it. Right to the other end. Let those hunks and chunks just fall right in. Hunks and chunks allowed. Oh yeah. All right? Then I throw a whole box of this in. Spanish rice, arroz amarillo. This is great, just throw it right in there. All right, then we take a little bit of this green seasoning chef premium whatever it says right there brand products it's a, anything green goes great with pork so I'm gonna dump that in there I got a little bitty bit of it it's I got about a tenth of a thing of it and that whole man thing gonna get right in there right yep it comes out real slow but I'm gonna pause it while the rest is that in there And just a bow for that, lemon ginger. Just to give it a little like that bite, you know. Come on, there you go. Alrighty, itsy bitsy spider, itsy bitty bit of this too. Oregano leaves, this is just gonna be goof right on the top. Little layer, just to shump, 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 shmoop them in. Yeah. Alrighty, next is going in broccoli florets. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. We gotta move that around a little bit. Alright, hold it, hold it. Just got to like tinkle link them right in there like that. Yeah, that's it. Not too many, not too little. Just about right. It's about right. That's going to be really nice. I'll hold it. I ain't making you watch me cut this, but I'm going to chop up a bunch of these and put them in next. Alrighty, I'm back. I chopped them up. Yeah, this is a little bit due, like, to get them on in there. The right. While you're holding your phone doing it, but I'm just going to, like, trinkle, tinkle, little star all across the whole thing. And... Move them right in there, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Doing it one hand, it takes a little bit harder, but then I wouldn't be able to tell you. Alrighty. Cool as hell. Now, we're just about right. Alright, hold it. Alright, then you shut it. And that's it. Now you let the machine do the work. 
high, high and low. So it's really like eight hours or 12 hours. In this particular case, I'm going eight hours. I used to do this all the time on the stove top and it would take about six hours. So warm, that means probably just leave it on, leave it warm, but let the machine do the work and we'll be back to show you the results as soon as we can. Oh yeah, and that rice, that don't need to cook that long. So we're gonna keep that right on the side, throw it in like the last hour. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> 